Alright, so if you're on to the second half of the video now, then you have seen me beat all the other Aeons. Or maybe not, considering I gave you the option, it's your call. So, after I knocked off her Bahamut, I got access to the Flower Scepter and the Blossom Crown. So what do we do with them? Well, we are going to go up here. The doors are sealed by a strange power. Let's use the Blossom Crown. We've broken the seal, but not completely. So let's use the Flower Scepter now. We've broken the seal. In you go, Yuna. You've got one last Aeon to collect. And from here, we have obtained the last three Aeons, the Magus Sisters, Cindy, Mindy, and Sandy. Oh boy, coming up with names for these ones is going to be a tricky little challenge. So let's see what I can come up with. Alright, so Cindy is going to be named Wall. Don't ask. Sandy is going to be renamed to Blade. You will see why soon enough. And Mindy is going to become Tiny. Yeah. So with that, there is actually one final Aeon battle with Belgamine we have to do. Using the Magus Sisters. Since she will now have them, since we have them. I unfortunately cannot debut them as a result of this. But... You've got quite a name to live up to, daughter of Braska. I haven't heard that line a thousand times already. So yes, let us do battle with the Magus sisters. Now, are you ready? Pretty fitting way to end off this video, I believe. Doing battle with the Magus sisters. We'll at least get to see their uh, intro, since I will not be able to show up for quite some time. Here they come! Sandy, Cindy, and Mindy, the Magus sisters! Ready for action. Choose your Aeon will, Summoner. Oh, I will probably need to. So! Fun fact about the Magus sisters! They are actually three Aeons in one. Thus, they pose three separate threats as well as a threat as a group. Starting off with Sandy, the one in the middle there in the red. She has 35,000 HP, 3,000 MP. She's pretty fast and quite powerful in the strength department. Um, the main thing to you know about her is her Razia ability. Other than that, there's not really much to say about her. She is actually potentially the least threatening. I will point one quick thing out first. As the leader of the Magus Sisters, Sandy is the one that will initiate their, their devastating overdrive Delta attack. You may want to take her out first if you wish to avoid that. Though honestly, as long as you kill off one of the sisters first, they can't use Delta Attack anyway. Their Overdrive is worthless unless all three are present. Cindy, the big fat one, to her... Her right-hand side, our left-hand side of the screen. She is definitely the bulkiest, hence why I named her mine, Wall. 48,000 HP, 8,000 MP. Whatever reason, hers isn't very defensive, but it is quite powerful. If slow. Cindy is more known for her defensive magic. Cura, Drain, Dispel, Mighty Guard, Regen, Shell, Protect. She has access to Holy, which kind of worries me. And she also has the attack Kamisad, which is, in essence, kind of like a body slam. And then there's Mindy, the smallest one of the group. And potentially, the most dangerous. No, actually she is the most dangerous, and also the most fragile. 20,000 HP, 7,000 MP. Her stats may not look all that powerful, until you take a quick peek at her abilities. 
Passado, which is a multi-hit attack that, while it does minor damage most of the time, it will rack up. Stupid voice crack. <clears throat> as well as Flare, Blizzaga, Thundaga, Waterga, Furaga. Well, basically all of the second and third level elemental black magic spells, in addition to Flare and Ultima. Yes, I said Flare and Ultima. She is very dangerous. So for this task... I believe I'm going to call upon... Dolor again, as he is my most powerful Aeon. And potentially... Actually... I think I know a way I might be able to wrap this up pretty quickly. And it involves a little something called... Oblivion. Sorry, Mega Sisters, but... Your time has come. Even though we just got started, pretty much. And seeing as this is our first time watching Anima's Overdrive, under our possession anyway, not Seymour's, we have to see the whole thing. Anima's tail still looks creepy as hell, I'm not gonna lie. Nightmare fuel, anyone? And cue the big explosion of darkness. I know Anima shatters the damage limit. Overkilled two of them! Cindy had enough HP or si yes, yeah, Cindy had enough HP to survive. It overkilled the other two. That is a testament to Delore's awesome power. Let's go ahead and fire off a pain. I think this might actually be enough to puncture what's left of Cindy's HP. No! Shell actually saved her. And here comes the Protect. And Mighty Guard, too, because why not? Oh, Cindy actually wishes to be a pain in the ass. I'm just gonna fire off another pain as it's probably my best bet, in all honesty. And Cindy is down, too. And there you go, the Mega Sisters beaten. Despite the three on one. And that is the last of Lady Belgamine's Aeons. Ah, you have made some progress. And for that, I'm glad. I'm sure you are. Take this. It may come in handy. Hearing the same line for what has to be the hundredth time at this point. Anyway, for being the Magus Sisters, we get 40 Shining Gems. Perhaps you'll teach me again someday? <laughs> That's not possible. You have already surpassed your father. There is nothing more I can teach you. My work here on Spira is done. Time for me to go. Send her. She is an unsent, so we have a duty to perform. So let us send her. Thank you for all you have taught us, your hands. Lady Balgamine. Destroy sin and save Spira. Oh, believe me, I will. And for doing so, we also get the Moon Sigil. Which is, again, another piece of the puzzle for the Celestial Weapons. So with that, we are all done with Remium Temple now. And that also completes the last side quest thing I wanted to do before we go on to start the last part of the main story. So with everything I have in hand... Actually, there is one last quick pit stop I want to make, but I think I'll tack that on to the next video. Because as Lady Belgamine said, it's time to destroy Sin and save Spira, which we will get started on doing next time. Thank you guys so very much for watching. I have been Rupdat. I hope you enjoyed the interactive portions of this video. Something new I wanted to try out and... 
try and breathe extra life into this uh, particular part. And I will see you guys next time. Take care.